Dear student, I am Mrs. Jai Semiadekweju, your economics teacher. Today's topic is business organization, limited liability companies. In our previous lesson, you have been introduced to many and types of business organization, so proprietorship and partnership. Today, I shall be taking limited liability companies. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to 1. Define company, mention types of company, and steps involved in forming a company. 2. Define private limited liability company with examples. 3. State features of private limited liability companies. 4. Mention advantages and disadvantages of private limited liability companies. 5. Define public limited liability companies with examples. 6. Mention features of public limited liability companies. And 7. State the advantages and disadvantages of public limited liability companies. What is a company? A company is a legal person or entity created by the association of a number of people in accordance with the law for the purpose of putting their capital together in order to set up a business. Types of companies. One, Unlimited liability companies. In this type of company, the liability of members is limitless and may be liable to the full amount of debt in the event of liquidation. Two, limited liability companies. In this type of company, the liability of the debt of the company is limited to the amount of share capital the shareholders had agreed to contribute individually in the event of liquidation. Types of limited liability companies. One, private limited liability company, and two, public limited liability company. Formation of limited liability companies. The following steps are involved in the formation of limited liability companies. One, devise a scheme of capitalization. Two, secure the services of a solicitor to prepare the following documents. A, memorandum of association. B, article of association. C, statement of nominal capital. Three, the documents are stamped and lodged with the registrar of companies. Four, the registrar will issue a certificate of incorporation to the company. A private limited liability company can start the business after receiving this certificate, while a public limited liability company must wait for certificate of trading. Five, Certificate of trading is issued, which enables a public limited liability company to commence business. Let us now discuss the types of limited liability companies fully. 1. Private limited liability companies. A private limited liability company is defined as one which by article restrict the number of shares, limit the number of its shareholders from 2 to 50, prohibit any invitation to the public to subscribe to its shares, and the name of the company must end with abbreviation limited. Examples are 1. God's Will Nigeria Limited. Two, Adebowale Nigeria Limited. After this short break, we shall be considering features, advantages, and disadvantages of 
private limited liability companies. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Let us examine features of private limited liability companies. One, the business is owned by shareholders who may be between two to 50 people. Two, the major objective of private limited company is to make profit. Three, the shareholders have limited liability. In the event of liquidation, the shareholders lose only the money invested into the business. Four, the business is a separate legal entity. That is, the business is different from its owners. Five, there is continuity of the business. As the withdrawal or death of a shareholder may not affect the existence of the company. Six, shares are not easily transferable. Shares cannot be resold to other people except with the concept of other shareholders. Seven, the business is managed by a board of directors appointed by shareholders. Advantages of private limited liability company. The following are the advantages of private limited liability company. One, large capital. Private limited liability company can raise higher capital compared to the sole proprietorship and partnership as a result of many shareholders that form the business. Two, it has legal entity. Hence, it can sue or be sued. Three, shareholders have limited liability. In the event of business failure, the shareholder only loses his shares, which he has contributed. Four, perpetual existence of the business. The business can exist for a very long time. It will not cease to operate as a result of death or withdrawal of a member. Five, there is efficient management of the business by the board of directors appointed by shareholders. Six, the business can easily expand because of large capital available to set up and run the business. Disadvantages of private limited liability company. Disadvantages of private limited liability companies include the following. One, shares are not easily transferred. Since shares are not quoted on the stock exchange market, they are not easily transferable. It can only be transferred with the concept of fellow shareholder. Two, limited capitals. As a result of few number of shareholders, the capital available is limited. Three, lack of privacy. There is lack of privacy because companies are required to publicize their account. Four, lack of personal contact. There is lack of personal contact between the employees and the customers. Five, delay in decision taking. Before any decision on crucial issue can be taken, the board of directors or the shareholders must meet and this can waste time. Let us now consider public limited liability companies. What is a public limited liability company? Public limited liability company is also called joint stock company. It is defined as one by which its articles allow the public to subscribe for its shares. Must have a minimum of seven persons, but no maximum number is prescribed. Allows its share to be transferred and the name 
of the company must end with the abbreviation PLC. Examples of public limited liability company are 1. Tezako Nigeria PLC 2. Donop Nigeria PLC 3. First Bank PLC and others. After the short break, we shall be considering features of public limited liability companies. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the last stage of this class. We shall continue with the features of public limited liability companies. 1. It is formed by minimum of seven people and no limit to the maximum number of the shareholders. 2. It is a legal entity. The business has a distinct personality from that of the owner. 3. It has limited liability. The liability of shareholders is limited to the amount contributed to the company. 4. There is perpetual existence of the business. The debt or withdrawal of some shareholders cannot put an end to the business. 5. Preparation of annual accounts. The account must be audited and published annually. 6. No restriction to the transfer of shares. Members are free to transfer shares anytime they want in the stock exchange market. Advantages of public limited liability companies. 1. Legal entity. Public limited liability companies have a distinct personality from the owners. Hence, they can sue or be sued. 2. Large capital. They can raise enough capital by selling more shares or debentures to the public. 3. Perpetual assistance. There is continuity of business because the debt or withdrawal of a shareholder cannot put an end to the business. 4. Limited liability. The liability of shareholders is limited to the amount invested as capital in the business. 5. Transferability of shares. Shares of public limited liability company can easily be transferred without having any effect on the business operation. 6. Availability of loan facilities. Many banks prefer to grant loans to public limited liability companies than other form of business organization because it may not default in payment. Disadvantages of public limited liability companies. The following are the disadvantages of public limited liability companies. One, public limited liability company is hard to establish. It requires much documentation and cannot start operation until certificate of trading is obtained. Two, there is delay in decision taking. The size of the firm of the company is large and many people will be consulted before crucial decision can be taken. Three, lack of privacy. There is no privacy in financial reports. This is because the company is required by law to publish its annual financial statement to the public. Four, conflict of interest. There is possibility of conflict of interest among the shareholders, directors, and staff, which may affect the efficiency of operations of the business. Five, payment of large corporate tax. The rate of tax paid to the government is usually very high. 
It pays 30% of its profit as income tax and 2% as education tax. 6. Lack of flexibility. The business cannot embark on any other business except the one set out in the memorandum of association. With this, we have come to the end of this lesson. Till I come your way next time, answer the following questions. Number one, what is limited liability company? Mention types of limited liability company. Two, mention any four similarities and three differences between private and public limited liability companies. Three, explain five merits of joint stock companies. Thank you.